Hi, this is Priyan Kesh. I hope you all are doing great. In this video, I am going to talk about how to prepare for IGIDR interview. Okay. Before I begin, I would like to congratulate all the students who have qualified this entrance exam. So let's get started. begin with uh, my interview experience in uh, 2020. So the mode of uh, interview was online and that was conducted on Zoom app. And there were three panel members in my interview and duration of my interview was 10 to 15 minutes and uh, the slot was the afternoon and timing was around uh, I think 2 uh, p.m. Okay. Now coming to uh, the professor one. Okay. So how my interview begins? It begins with the greetings. So, first I greeted all the professors, good afternoon sir, and they asked me, hi Priyankesh, how are you? I said, I'm fine, what about you? They asked me, I'm also good. So, first professor asked me uh, a very basic question, that is, give your brief introduction and what inspires you to pursue PhD. So, basically, I talked about my academic background and uh, I, then I talked about uh, economics of education, that area I want to pursue PhD. So, as I talked about uh, STG goal 4, so he asked me about, second question was, uh, what uh, what are the sustainable development goals? So, I also talked about sustainable development goals. After that, uh, because uh, uh, I come from uh, in math, stats and economics background, so they asked me, what is your uh, interesting uh, subject in economics? So, I told them it is econometrics. So they asked me uh, that uh, topic, uh, asked me about topic which I am interested in. So I told them autocorrelation, but uh, uh, they told me that it is uh, an advanced econometrics topic. So they come with the uh, uh, OLS method, okay. And they asked me a question related to property based on OLS oil method, okay. Here uh, the professor uh, one uh, ends and the professor second started as Professor second has started questioning. So they asked me in that, uh, so Priyankesh, you said you are from statistic background. So I said, yes. So they asked me uh, that, are you comfortable if I ask you a question related to distribution? It is, it could be discrete or continuous. So I told them, yes, absolutely fine. So they asked me one question uh, from discrete distribution and uh, they asked me to calculate the probabilities. Okay. So that is the question. And then uh, uh, Professor 3 jumps in and he has started asking questions. So he said, okay, Priyankesh, so tell me what is the difference between total revenue, marginal revenue and average revenue? Okay. So this is a very basic question they have asked me. And uh, it was a very easy question. So I've answered. And then they asked me what will be the impact on AR if I change in TR. Let's say if I increase or decrease total revenue. So what will be the impact on average revenue? Okay, next question was what will be the impact on the margin revenue if I change average revenue? So these are the three questions uh, they asked me and they and after that they told me, okay, thank you, Prentish, you can leave the meeting. So that's how my interview ends. Okay, now the big question comes here, how to prepare for the interview? So first of all, I would like to tell you, uh, be specific about the, these three questions. Like uh, give you a brief introduction or tell me something about yourself. This is the first question. Okay. And second question is what inspires you to pursue MSc or PhD? Be very specific. And next is what is your favorite subject and topic? Be very specific about these three questions. Why I'm telling this? Because uh, whatever introduction you will give, next question will come from uh, that. Okay. And whatever uh, the, the, like answer you will give for the, like your MSc or PhD, they will definitely ask you a question from that uh, also. Like I've told them uh, sustainable development SDG goal four, that is uh, of quality and inclusive education. So they ask me question related to sustainable development goals and uh, current status of it in, uh, education in India. So that kind of question they can ask. Okay. Now, talking about favorite subjects, so you have to be very specific. If, I, if Let's say if you are saying econometrics, okay, and do not give them one uh, topic, give them two, three, okay. What was my mistake during the interview, like uh, I give them only one topic, so they switch the topic, okay. 
So if you give them free for topic, uh, so the it will be a uh, advantage to you. Like uh, you can uh, deal with that into okay. So uh, be prepare one uh, any one subject and any uh, three at least three four topic. Okay, at least three four topic you should prepare. Now what else you need to prepare? Like uh, you have to prepare the current economic issues. Okay, and budget. Uh, you can read it in a very brief. What is uh, total revenue? Where does the money come from? Where does the money go? These kind of some basic stats related to budget. Okay. And then 15 finance commission. Okay, we read uh, definitely you should read this and current development is, uh, developmental issues with this solution. Okay, uh, it's solution do not uh, read the internet solution, just read it, but try to give them your own solution. Okay, they are more interested in your uh, uh, insights, not the someone else's insight, though you can refer that. Okay. Now, uh, next thing that you should uh, study any one subject and with particular topics, okay? Because definitely they are going to ask you questions related to topics. As I have already mentioned that I come from a stats background. So they ask me questions related to discrete, okay? And uh, the last professor has asked me questions related to economics. Huh, remember one thing, they are not going to ask uh, like, uh, a very difficult question. They are going to ask very basic questions. So be uh, clear. Uh, I mean, you should clear your basics. That is very important. Okay. Now this is for PhD candidates only uh, because you have given your SOP and research topic. Okay. So whatever research topic or SOP you have uh, given, so please uh, you uh, you should read about that topic uh, in a very depth. Because uh, they can ask you what could be your data source and uh, um, how you, how many research paper you have gone through that is literature review. Okay, so that kind of thing they can ask you. Okay, so this is very important for PhD uh, candidates. Now coming to the last thing uh, that is the other important things, your interview dates which uh, are given by IGIDS. So for MSc candidate uh, interview dates are 26th and 27th of July and for PhD candidates uh, it is 28th June. Timing it will start from 9.30 a.m. onward but remember the one thing they'll, they'll call you separately whenever your turns comes in because uh, but uh, be ready from 9.30 because your interview can come at any time okay and uh, two other important thing that you need to remember uh, when you enter in your Zoom meeting, okay, so your uh, name, okay, that should be in this format. First your name and then your registration number, okay. And second thing that uh, you should be ready with any Aadhaar card or PAN card, any government recognized ID, because uh, first uh, in, uh, the administrator will ask you to show your uh, identity card and they'll uh, verify you. Then they'll ask you to wait for a while. Then they'll send you into a interview room. Okay. Then you'll come out of interview room. You'll uh, tell the administrator, yes, I have done with my interview. Then uh, he will ask you finally leave. So that's how your interview will open. Okay. So that's all from my side in this uh, video. I hope uh, you will like it. And uh, if you have any other query, please feel free to comment uh, below. And I'll try my best to answer. Okay. So thank you. Stay safe and stay healthy. All the best for your interview.